welcome to the video. So today I'm going to take you through a full day of what it's like to, you know, compete and just to compete, you know, especially with MD. So kind of like, you know, whatever it takes. So today we got kicking off. It is 530. Just watching a quick show and then going to go to the weight room. Okay, starting off with pre-workout, wake myself up. Okay, about two scoops and then while I watch my show it actually gives me a good time to use my stim machine okay so I'll stim probably my shoulders and elbows kind of just you know relieve some of that you know tendonitis and then I took a pill of coconut oil and two uh, turmerics and then three arginine pills just for arginine is kind of just you know for that vascularity and that pump so let's get into it all right gonna get the warm-up going probably usually takes me about 20 minutes half hour because i do heat up my muscles pretty good just to get them loose and the blood flowing i obviously uh i mean i hit the treadmill for about five minutes just to also you know get the blood moving and kind of wake up a little bit um we got ryan coming over today and we're going to hit a biceps and triceps day and arm day Probably my favorite day, but um, you know, it has been probably a good three or four days since we've done arms, so gonna hit that up today. Trying to go a little bit heavy to get some fullness and the density in the muscles, even though we're like 13, 11 days away from the show, so we're gonna go still pretty heavy. Let's get to it. Ugh. ish did a little bit of posing afterwards instead of having my usual protein shake we're actually going all real food we're cutting out the shakes and we're using all real food I'll show you what my first meal is breakfast is done we got five duck eggs scrambled we got a rice cake for some carbs same thing with a power crunch bar that's like my little treat and then we got low what is this up? low carb no sugar added Ketchup is just one gram of carb per tablespoon. And first meal is done. What's going on? So, in the morning, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up the water jug, actually, not with creatine. We're actually gonna put creatine in a shaker. I like to have it make sure it's, you know, right away. Whoop. Fix that camera right there. Alright, we're back. Alright, so 
but gallon water jug. All right, and then what we're gonna do is, okay, we're gonna get a uh, full scoop of PCAs and two scoops of carnitine first form. Minimum gallon, I'm trying to get a little bit more than that. Put that in the funnel. Two scoops, so 3,000 milligrams of that, and then we'll get one, I usually do a heaping scoop of BCAs, just for electrolytes and all that stuff. And then, tap that in, good, and Drink it up, and that's why I need to finish drinking by the end of the day. Also, we will be sure that we are taking the rest of my pills throughout the day. All right, so those aren't all of them, that's just one section is the day, and then always taking HMB, okay, which is three times a day, four pills with food. And then I told you I would tell you guys about yoked. The packet um, the first month you know it didn't feel no difference but I'm not gonna lie since I've been taking it I've retained a lot of muscle you know to put on a little bit you know while losing some fat and then I mean I just I feel strong still so which is really good being 11 days away I feel pretty good so I really think yoked has made a difference you know this prep and just overall with strength and progress and fatigue it's Definitely been a good product, so I do recommend it. Okay, this is you got everything's trial and error, but yoked, very good product, and that's it. And then we'll take these and get on with the day. The fun stuff, meal prepping, the chicken is coming up. Okay, some seasoning. We got our whole lazy Susan of seasoning because I need it. I go a little heavy, especially with the garlic. And then we got some, I think that's Montreal, let's see this. Montreal chicken seasoning. So, getting the meal prep done, broccoli is next. All right, so now we're heading on to lunchtime. So, working from home, okay, it is. it has its benefits, has its perks, also has its downfalls as well. Um, but I could have chicken, but sometimes I do like to save that for dinner. All right, because I don't want to really have chicken for lunch and dinner, it's just... Oh, sometimes I don't want to say it gets old because I really do thoroughly enjoy it and I can eat the same meal over and over. It's just how I'm made. Sometimes I just break it up because I've been doing that for a bit. So I'm honestly in kind of working from home. I don't have actually, I actually have less time, but I'm just going to have a couple snacks. So Quest chips, protein chips, I find them very good. And this is like an Ostrom stick. So and then I'll have a yogurt. So it's not like a meal. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing sometimes, but at least I'm getting my protein in. A little bit of carb, a little bit of fat, just to, you know, keep me in an anabolic state. So usually 30 grams or more, 30 to 60 is like a good range to stay in. Even 20 is not a bad state. So anabolic state, building muscle, burning some fat. I think I mentioned that before. And we're gonna continue through on our day. We'll see you soon. All right, so dinner is now done with. I did have 12 ounces of chicken, Parmesan cheese, some lettuce, uh, fat-free salad dressing, which kind of put me over my carb limit by a little bit, but it's okay. I'm not gonna stress about it. It's no big deal. Just a few carbs ain't gonna kill me, which is like significant improvement for my first competition. I measured like 11 grapes one time because they look so good, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna count them out. I measured 11 grapes, which was like five grams of carbs. So I've definitely improved a little bit, trying to like just not stress about it. But uh, water intake's going pretty good, and I'm on about hitting over a gallon right now, just barely. But the tough thing is that I can't have a shake, and without having a shake, my protein intake is actually kind of low today. And I've already had two bags of Quest chips, which is like. 40 grams of protein and I'm still struggling and 12 ounces of chicken I had five eggs so it's trying to not kill my carb load like I could just have pieces of chicken I don't know how much I'm feeling it but we'll figure something out could be another bag of quest chips I'm not sure yet 
I'll let you know. Okay, getting into close to nighttime. Not yet, but I'm gonna show you what I'm making here. This is an exfoliant. It is just pure baking soda and a suave gel with a little bit of water and then an exfoliating glove. So really focusing on, you know, getting all that dead skin off because you got to do this for about a week um, prior, a little maybe two weeks, is just to get the tan so the tan will stay on better so it works and you don't have any bad problems because they're only doing a uh, one touch up due to COVID so the one touch up you got to make sure that tan is on really good so exfoliating with and baking soda is perfect for it so that's how it's looking right now and then we got over here we got a cocoa butter so it's like a moisturizer so this again helps with the tanning okay so all this type of stuff is every single night. I was using that to like for a while to just tighten up skin too. So yeah, it's definitely a different world. It's definitely a different type of life. But uh, we got one more thing to go through for the day. And then we'll head to bed. This is the part no one, no one sees. Two workouts a day, sometimes three. You know, I hate cardio, but you know, yeah, it's effective, especially hit training. Freaking hate the bike. So I said, you know. Talked to my last video, there's always a way. You know, you gotta tighten up, you gotta be conditioned, you gotta be able to do whatever it takes. This sets up my heart so much, like, I hop an AFib during that, you know, wing gate, and it goes away. Some think it's stupid, but you know what? Like I said, I'm willing to do. Whatever I need to do. Go. One more. <laughs> so this is uh this is the nighttime workout. Wake up at five. Work out around six. Go for my walks. And get my head in before bed. Trust me, I'm gonna be ready for bed. So, if you stuck with me, just following the video. A little long, but this is the life. This is my lifestyle. I'm not gonna lie, I freaking love it. Absolutely, I would not trade this for the world. Nothing is gonna stop me. I don't care what it is. MD, no freaking way. I don't care. All day. I do this as long as I can. As long as I can until I'm dead. I wouldn't trade this for the world. All right? Get out there, hit it hard. Like and subscribe. Let's get this out there. Let's spread the word. Let's be positive. And let's push each other. See you in the next video.